Alrighty folks, so my raspberries right behind me here are in their second year and really starting to come in. And last season I saw a trellis designed by Lisa in our community that I absolutely loved. So today I'm going to head over there so that we can take a quick peek at it and then we're gonna try to recreate and rebuild that from my backyard here. Every time. Hey Lisa, how you doing? Good. Garden is looking amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Let's take a look at the raspberries. Look at these. So these were pruned February, and what we love about my garden trellis here for the raspberries is my husband built me this as I have a spinal cord injury. So picking and pruning is a little bit of a chore. So everything needs to come down to my level at eye height so I can just get in and prune and pick. Love it. So when I'm done pruning or working on them or even picking, I can just string them back up and get them reconfined into their space and an easy clip and they're done. Done. Alrighty, so the two things that I love about this structure are the height of it. Just look at how tall it is compared to Lisa there. And then on top of that, these clasps that allow you to bring it down and then get in there for any picking, pruning, all that good stuff. Thanks, Lisa. Alrighty, all set. Let's head over to the hardware store to pick up a couple of those supplies. Alrighty, got everything that we need, and you might have noticed that I didn't grab any wood. And the reason for that is if you checked out our split rail video back in the fall, you know that I tried to build a little bit of like a trellis archway, but it just didn't work for a lot of reasons. And anyways, I still have that wood left over and I think it could end up being perfect for this project. So here is the archway from the fall that didn't make it into the garden. It has been patiently waiting for its moment, which I hope is going to be today. But first we need to do a little bit of work on it. So first I'm going to disassemble all of the hardware so that I have the two beams on their own because these are gonna serve as the end pieces for our trellis. Next, I'm going to remeasure the top arches so that they'll mirror one another and then cut those to the new lengths. And now this is a classic Jordan woodworking situation where they're close, it's not bad, but they're definitely all like one to two millimeters off in some way, shape or form. <laughs> Fortunately, to the untrained eye and from a distance, you won't be able to notice. And so with them all now cut, the next thing that I wanna do is begin reassembling the two individual posts. And so to begin working on that, the next thing that I'm going to do is attach the pieces of wood where we're going to be connecting the hardware to. And so I'm gonna do one of these four feet up the piece of wood, which is gonna be standing two feet above the surface, and the next one at six feet up, which is gonna be four feet above the ground. And then the last piece I'm going to do is reconnect the newly cut down tops. Alrighty, I'm really happy with how this is coming together and it's all happening really, really smoothly, which I should not say because those are famous last words for me when it comes to woodworking projects. And on top of that, the part that I'm most nervous and unsure about is what I'm getting up to next. So let's head over to the raspberries to start looking at where these are going to go into the ground. All right, so before digging them into the ground, I'm first going to take out this where I had the rosemary to free up a little bit more space. All right, I'm just gonna move this over for the time being. This be a future Jordan problem. He's got a lot of future Jordan problems. All right, and now the games really begin. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. I'm at battle with the biggest rock right where I'm trying to dig. Not even moving. That's not the sound that you want to hear. All right, the one thing I'm gonna try is hori hori knife. See if I can just cut around it somehow to loosen it up. Oh, oh, oh. Baby, come on. Ah. I hate you. Alrighty, moment of truth. That's 24 inches there. And 
Oh, we're laughing out beneath the surface. Beauty, one down, one to go. Just realizing how much dirt I have on my face. Whew, okay. Uh, been at it the last couple of hours here, just trying to get as much done before the sun went down. And what I was up to was I first finished digging the holes, so those are all done and dusted. Ooh, laughing. Then I built braces for each of the trellis beams and connected those to the fence. And then I started playing around with getting the trellises in there and then begin to just essentially level them out. So I was going back and forth using both a string level and a post level to try and get it all as nice and level as possible. So a couple hours worth of work, but I think we're in a really good position. So next up is pouring the concrete, which is definitely what I'm most nervous about. Um, but I was maybe gonna do it this evening, but I wanna wait, I wanna sleep on it, take a look at it in the morning, and then we'll make that big call. Alrighty folks, today is the day. Got the concrete and we are getting these posts secured. So pouring concrete always gets me a little bit nervous because there's something that just kind of feels a little bit more permanent about it than working with say a piece of wood. But with this particular project, I've definitely spent a good amount of time getting everything leveled and ready to go. So I'm feeling good about getting this concrete down. Now that I got the concrete all mixed up, all that I'm going to do is start filling the first of the two posts. And I'm just gonna give it some pokes to get rid of any air. A little bit runny, that's all right. And then I'm just gonna quickly make sure that we're still level everywhere. I'd, I'd say that's close-ish. All righty, so concrete is in, posts are looking good and level. I'm pretty pumped about where we're at and how it's all coming together. So the last thing that we're going to do is, well, first I'm gonna let the posts settle and dry. And then once that's all done, we're gonna come back. Last thing we're going to do is attach the hardware. All righty. Yep, that is looking dry. Time to start finishing it off. All righty, so first thing I'm gonna do is backfill the posts with some of that soil that I popped out earlier. Same as before, I'm gonna poke it around to make sure it's all in there. Alrighty, so we are into the home stretch here and it's actually a couple of days later. Now, why is that the case? Well, I actually put all of the hardware on and I liked it, but there's one thing that I wanted to change. So I went ahead and tried it out on just one of the areas and I absolutely loved it. So what we're going to do here to wrap up the video is put the hardware on and I'm gonna share that one change with you. So the first thing that I'm gonna do with installing the hardware here is measure down each of the beams halfway. So three and a half inches, that means 1.75 is my halfway mark. And that's where I'm putting my tick mark. And then I'm gonna to go to each of the other beams and do the exact same thing. Now next up is pre-drilling the holes into each of these where we're going to attach the closed eyes. And now I'm just gonna hand screw in the little eyes that are going into each of these that we're connecting our wire string to. Alrighty, the last thing to do is connect that wire string that I'm gonna be using for the trellising. And so to do that, what I'm gonna do is take this little metal sleeve and pass the wire through it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop the wire through and bring it back through the sleeve here. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that down. And this is gonna be our closed end. And then I'm gonna grab this crimping tool. I'm gonna to pop it on there, get it tight. I'm gonna hold it with my foot, a little bit challenging as one person. And then squeeze down and that ain't going anywhere. So now I take this to the far side and over here, I'm gonna connect it to this buckling latch here. And this is the one difference. Rather than just using a carabiner, this is going to allow me to tighten it down. So I take my wire and I pass it through the sleeve. Then I go ahead and take the wire and I pass that through the clip. Then I take the tag end. I think that's a tag end. I don't know what a tag end is, but I heard it on the internet one time. But now what I do is I keep on pulling it so that all of the slack is out and so that my carabiner is nice and tight there. I'll show you more about that in just a second. All right, so I've got that pulled tight. I'm then gonna grab this clamp here or pop it on. If you had another person, you could just have them hold that. That's going to allow me to grab the crimping tool and then crimp this one down, slippery little guy. 
Beauty, that ain't going anywhere. And then you can chop the excess. Nice one. All right, so what I love about this approach is that rather than have like pull the carabiner really hard or have some slack in the system, these allow me to keep it really, really tight and then just unscrew it when I need to access them. So all that I need to do is just simply begin to twist it in the direction that loosens it up. And then after a couple of twists there, I've got enough slack to easily pull it off. And then I can get to the raspberries, I can prune them, I can harvest all those good things. And then once I'm done, all that I need to do is just pop it back on and tighten it back up. And now like this, it stays nice and tight, looks really nice and level in the backyard. And then I was gonna quickly do the same thing on the backside. Oh, baby. You, you, done. All right. I'm not gonna lie, this is without a doubt my best woodworking project yet. Everything actually looks like nice and straight and level, and I'm really, really happy with that final adjustment that I made in terms of switching from the carabiners to those latches that I can screw down nice and tight and then open up to get to the raspberries. So really, really excited about it. Neighbors having a fire, the sun's setting, it's feeling like spring. Folks, that's everything for today here. Really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and subscribe to the channel here because we put out new videos just like this one every single week. And then if you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. But folks, that's everything for right now. Go get those hands dirty and I'll catch you soon.